my dear students my name is dr k c h kaparo working as an associate professor in the mechanical engineering department today i would like to explain about to uh, uh, we'll discuss we want to discuss on um, some problem solving on composite spheres first of all we'll see some critical questions on composite spheres and what are the uh, one dimensional heat conduction what is one dimensional heat conduction formula in spheres and uh, we will derive the um, heat conduction in composite spheres then we will see a uh, few more problems on composite sphere ok so we will derive uh, one dimensional heat conduction in spheres we know that we already um, derived the dimension heat conduction equation in spheres we know that formula the formula is equal to this one we already discussed in dimensional heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinate system dimensional heat conduction equation in cylindrical objects already we discussed and the dimensional heat conduction equation in spheres also we discussed here the um, three terms this is the final formula do by r square d theta dr into r square do theta do t by sorry do t by do r plus do square t by r square sin square theta d pi square so this one is the final formula so this is the with respect to r term this one is the with respect to pi term so this is the with respect to theta term similar to in cartesian coordinate system uh, like x and y and z directions these are the source the uh, three directions because it is in sphere uh, spherical objects with respect to r conduction will will consider with respect to theta and with respect to pi we can consider this one so we will derive the one dimensional heat conduction equation <coughs> one dimensional means we will take only one direction so we want to consider first r so we will derive i want to derive the uh, one dimensional heat conduction in spheres with respect to r so for this one just we have to take this term only do by r square uh, dr into r square d theta by dr okay so this one this one is equal to if you consider if you neglect the uh, increase in internal energy this will be zero if you consider this is the steady state condition automatically dot t by dot small t is equal to zero so automatically this term also equal to zero okay so it means uh, 1 by r square is equal to zero because this is the zero it will be cancelled do by do r into r square do t by do r is equal to zero so we have to integrate this on both sides if you integrate this one this will be r square do t by do r into c1 right do t by do r is equal to 1 by r square into c1 or c1 by r square if you integral both sides no dr also is there no? uh, then do t is equal to uh, c1 d dr by r square or uh, you can write like this one 1 by c1 into 1 by r square into dr so this is the dr okay dt so dt is equal to c1 into 1 by r square into dr if you integral both sides here with respect to r so then we will get the final formula that is the general equation like this one okay so so this is the final formula then t is equal to <coughs> t is equal to minus c1 by r 
plus c2 okay dt is equal to so 1 by r squared dr into c1 okay so then t integral both sides means so t is equal to with respect to c1 that is c1 uh, by 1 by integral of 1 by r square means 1 minus 1 by r plus c to term. So, this is the general equation you can remember this one. Okay. So, if you apply the boundary conditions in this general equation, okay, then you will get the temperature equation. You will see what are the boundary conditions given here. Okay. There are two boundary conditions. Uh, at inner surface at outer surface. So, at here, <coughs> here means so at x is equal to if you consider this is uh, with respect to r at to <coughs> first boundary condition at r is equal to r i just you can assume this one this is the r this one is the r like this one this is the r red shows the r so at r at radius r temperature is equal to t so you have to find out the this temperature profile okay so for this one there are two boundary conditions at inner surface at outer surface at inner surface it means at r is equal to r i then temperature t is equal to t i t inner temperature okay so this is the first boundary condition second boundary condition <coughs> at r is equal to r naught outer radius of the sphere then temperature t is equal to t naught okay so first of all you apply the first boundary condition r is equal to r i t is equal to t t i uh, second boundary condition r is equal to r naught then t is equal to t naught just we are applying the first boundary condition these are the boundary conditions you can observe like this the first boundary condition at r is equal to r i temperature t is equal to t okay so for this one first of all you will take the small elemental area at distance uh, at radius r at uh, for that uh, elemental area temperature is equal to t so you have to find out the temperature profile for this one you have to consider two types of boundary conditions so one is inner surface and another one is the outer surface this is the box first boundary condition uh, with respect to inner surface this is one is the second boundary condition with respect to outer surface so if you apply the first boundary condition and you will get this form it means so if r is equal to r i then t is equal to t i okay so t is equal t i is equal to minus c1 by r i plus c2 so if I apply the first boundary condition if I apply the second boundary condition it means so r is equal to r naught to then t is equal to t naught then t naught is equal to minus c1 by r naught plus c2 so this is the first boundary condition equation this one is the second boundary condition equation okay subtract equation 2 from equation 1 <coughs> so, this is the positive mean, so it will be minus. This is minus means it will be positive. So, this is the minus. Then the value left hand, left hand side ti minus t naught is equal to here c1 is the common term. So, you can take uh, c1. Uh, this one is the minus, it will be plus. So, this term 1 by r naught minus so 1 by r i. So, C2 plus C2 minus C2, this will be cancelled. So, this is the formula. Then finally, C1 is equal to the value of C1 is equal to Ti minus so T0 by 1 by R0 minus 1 by R. So, this is the value. Substitute this C1 value in general equation uh, or any not general equation, in any equation 1 or 2, then you will get the C2 value. Okay find out the c1 and c2 then substitute the c1 and c2 values in general equation then we will get the temperature profile formula for the temperature temperature of particular uh, surface uh, 
area which is at the radius r okay so we'll see here so here uh, for the first boundary condition according to equation based upon the first boundary condition t i is equal to minus c 1 by r i plus c 2. So, it means you got the two c 1 value c 1 is equal to t i minus t naught by 1 by r naught minus r i. So, c 1 is equal to t i minus t naught by 1 by r naught minus 1 by r i. So, substitute this value in first equation first equation. So, which uh, was done or which was came from first boundary condition. Okay. So, you know that according to just you can rewrite like this equation C2 is equal to because we have to uh, solve the C2 value then C2 is equal to. So, then uh, send this term this direction uh, this side then T i plus because this is minus it will be plus C 1 by R i. Then substitute the value of C 1 here then C 2 is equal to T i plus T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus R i into R i. So, this is the C 2 value. Then substitute the C 1 and C 2 values in general equation. What is general equation? So, T is equal to minus C 1 by R plus C 2. So, this one is the C 1 value, this one is the C 2 value. If you substitute this one minus uh, T i minus T naught by R into 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i plus what is the C 2 value? That is the T i plus T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i into R i. Okay. So, just like here T i minus T naught to 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i. So, this is the common term you can uh, take common. So, here already uh, given in PPT you can observe that one then you can understand properly. Okay. So, this one okay. substituting the C 1 and C 2 values in general equation. So, you know that this is the general equation T is equal to minus C 1 by R plus C 2. Okay. So, the value of C 1, so T i minus T naught uh, by R 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i. Right? Here 1 by minus 1 by R into T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus 1 by R right? plus plus C 2 values. C 2 value is equal to T i plus T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i into R i. Okay. So, in which uh, T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i is the common term here, here also you can take common. Then the equation is equal to T is equal to T i, T i temperature T i plus the common term T i minus T naught by 1 by R naught minus 1 by R i. Then the remaining terms here, so 1 by R i here minus 1 by r. Okay. okay. So, then uh, determine the conduction equation. So, this is the temperature equation. It means by using this temperature equation, we can find out uh, find out the temperature at, at, at particular radius r in the uh, sphere at any that r may be something value that is the variable. So, based upon that uh, r we can find out the temperature with respect to that r. So, we have to remember this formula for finding the temperature at particular r value. Okay. So, we will derive the heat conduction rate of heat conduction through sphere okay, one dimensional heat conduction equation. So, for this one you know this one uh, you know the formula Fourier's law to find out the conduction of any particular material, any um, solid. You know the uh, Fourier's law, Q is equal to rate of heat transfer, Q is equal to okay, minus Ka into dt by dr, dt by dr. So, here 
we know that dt by dx but here we are taking the uh, rate of p transfer with respect to r just have written uh, in, instead of dx just dr you know that we have to find out the dt by dr you know the t t is equal to already you know this one if you derive to this one with respect to r dt by dr then we will get the value, then that value should be uh, substitute in this formula, then we will get Q value. So, this is the process to find out the uh, heat conduction equation. Okay. So, you know this one minus K into area, area of this sphere, you know the formula of area sphere 4 pi R square. So, you can write like this one. Uh, but uh, for the small elemental area, you know this one. So, 4 pi r square into d by dr into t. So, you know this, this is the t. If you derive this one with respect to r, then automatically you will get the formula. So, derivation this one. So, if you derive this one, this will be 0 This for this term. So, here, so with respect to r, we have to derive this one. With respect to r means, uh, we will get this one. So, minus, minus is already there into 1 by r. Derivative of 1 by r means minus 1 by r square. This is the value. So, this is the value. Minus and minus will be plus. The formula will be like this one. Okay? Because this r square, this r square will be cancelled. Then the minus, minus, uh, plus the temperature. So, uh, it means uh, the temperature will be changed. Hmm? 4 pi k. This is the final form. You can write like this one. Okay. Just here. Just I am explaining this one. This minus minus and minus this will be uh, plus okay the, for this minus just you are rotating you are changing this one that is q is equal to 4 pi k into t i minus t naught pi so this first term r i minus 1 by r naught so this is the final formula otherwise you can solve this one if you take common r i r naught into then the cross multiplication then the 4 pi k into t i minus t naught by here r naught minus r i by r i into r naught. So, this r i r naught will be comes into top numerator portion. Then the final formula is equal to uh, 4 pi k into r r i r naught into t i minus t naught by r naught minus r i. So, this is the final formula. You have to remember this. So, this is the one dimensional heat conduction equation in uh, spheres. Now, we will see uh, heat conduction equation. This is the formula already given in the PPT. You can observe this one. Okay. So, this is the final formula. You can write like that. Based upon the electrical analog formula, you can write like this one. Temperature by something the thermal resistance resistance of a sphere R naught by R by four pi k into R i R naught. You can write write like this one also. Then we will see uh, heat conduction equation hollow composite spheres. Here just like we are taking the only two layers. Okay. So inner uh, some heat is there fluid temperature fluid temperature of the inner surface is equal to T A and the heat transfer rate from the fluid to solid. So, here based upon the uh, convection process H A. Okay. So, two layer the first layer inner surface that is the temperature T 1. So, end of the first layer that is the temperature T 2. It means inner uh, surface temperature of the layer 2. Okay. Next to outside of the uh, layer surface temperature that is T3, then ambient temperature 
that is the TP. So here heat is transferred from the inner fluid to outer uh, fluid or outer atmosphere air. Okay. So here in inside convection process will be placed next to first layer that is the conduction one in second layer the conduction two next to from solid to atmospheric air heat transfer between the solid surface to atmospheric air means that is the convection. So one is convection inside next to conduction one next to conduction two plus convection okay two. So in three four uh, modes are it means uh, two conductions and two convection two modes and uh, four steps it will be completed. So if you consider the first uh, uh, one, it means heat transfer from hot fluid to inner surface temperature. So you can write like this one that is the Q rate of heat transfer Q is equal to you know the formula for the convection pro process H A into delta T temperature difference H into A of the sphere of area 4 pi R I R R I square inner surface temperature into temperature. Temperature is the hot fluid temperature is equal to T A minus uh, T1. Okay. So H A <coughs> heat transfer rate for the inner fluid. Okay, you can rewrite like this one T A minus T1 is equal to Q by uh, H A into 4 pi R I square. Okay, this is the equation one. Okay, so next to conduction process, conduction in the layer one. So heat transfer rate in layer one that is through conduction process. So conduction process means according to uh, uh, four years law, you know that formula uh, rate of heat transfer Q is equal to thermal conductivity. You know this one that is a K1 and uh, thermal conductivity second layer that is a K2. So KA. K A or K1 A into temperature difference. Temperature difference is equal to T1 minus T2 by L. L means uh, that is the uh, thickness. Thickness is equal to uh, R2. So radius, this is the R2, this is the R3. R2. So here uh, the formula is equal to uh, already derived, derived the heat conduction equation that is the formula the final formula you know this one sorry 4 pi k into uh, two radiuses one is r1 r2 into temperature difference t1 minus t2 by r2 minus r1 Okay. So, this is the equation 2. You can rewrite like this one T1 minus T2 is equal to uh, Q by 4 pi K R1 R2 by R2 minus R1. So, this is the equation 2. In the similar manner, you have to take the heat conduction in second layer next to heat convection from outer surface to atmosphere. So, two more equations you will get. So, here just already given this PPT, just I am explaining this process by using this PPT, you can refer this one. Okay. So, you can refer this one. The first equation convection process inside, second one is the conduction in layer 1, third one is the conduction in layer 2. Fourth one is the conversion from outer surface to atmosphere. Just here you can see this is the first equation by conversion process hot fluid to inner surface temperature that is the equation one. Okay. So second one rate of heat transfer in inner surface layer one. So this is the equation two okay. Q by K1 into 4 by R1 R2 by R2 minus R3. Similarly uh, equation uh, 3 third equation means in rate of heat transfer in second layer. Okay. So that is the uh, Q by 
k2 into 4 by r2 r3 by r3 minus r2. You know that formula like this one. k into 4 by r2 minus r3 r2 r3 by r3 minus r3. And fourth one, so similar to this one, q by hb 4 by r3 square r3 square okay so then these are the uh, q values the, these are the temperature equations if you add this temperature equations this one ti minus t naught plus t1 minus t2 plus t3 minus t3 so left side we have to add the add equation 4 equation so this one is the equation 4 you know this one then add equation 1 plus 2 plus uh, 3 plus and 4 we will get to equation like this one. Okay. So, Q is equal to actually if you add this one, all the temperature T, T A minus T1 plus T1 minus T2 plus T2 minus o, T3 plus T3 minus o, uh, Tb. Okay. So, T1 plus T1 minus T1 plus T2 minus T2 plus T3 minus T3 will be cancelled. The temperature is equal to T A minus T B. So, T A minus T B is equal to, so Q by, you will get all the thermal resistance value. So, then Q is equal to, so temperature profile T A minus T B by all the thermal resistances. What is thermal resistance? 1 by uh, 4 pi H A. HA 4 pi Ri square plus R2 minus R1 by. So, this is the formula already uh, just have given PPT. You can prefer this one. The final formula will be like this one. Just you can just I am giving here. Just you can observe like this. So, this is the final formula Q is equal to rate of heat transfer uh, is equal to 4 pi T A minus T B by. So, this is the thermal resistance with respect to convection to the inner surface. This is the thermal resistance of the layer 1. This is the thermal resistance of the layer 2. This is the thermal resistance due to convection from outer surface to atmosphere. So, it means you know the formulas. Temperature by thermal resistances according to just like electrical analog formula also. You know that we already discussed in the previous classes also. Then the final formula is equal to 4 pi temperature difference by the, all the thermal resistances. Sigma, uh, this is the formula. So, N shows the number of uh, layers. You okay, can based upon the N value, you can uh, increase the formula, formula of this one. Okay. So, this is the electrical analog formula for uh, one layer, you know this uh, electrical analog formula, you can refer this one. Okay. So, that is the final formula. So, we already discussed in here two types of uh, um, formulas, one is the uh, one dimensional heat conduction equation in sphere and uh, uh, heat conduction equation composite spheres also. By using those two formulas, we will solve uh, one or two numericals here, then we will we'll conclude this one. So, first numerical determine the rate of heat flow through a spherical boiler wall. So, this is the uh, sphere, polar sphere wall, which is 2 mm in diameter. So, diameter of the spherical uh, boiler wall is 2 mm and uh, 2 mm thick steel, thick steel. The outer surface of the boiler wall is So, the diameter also given and the thickness of the uh, steel also given. Mm. Next, the outside surface of the, the boiler is covered with a, some asbestos layer. So, that is the insulating material, you know this one, the thermal conductivity of that one also given. Uh, boiler uh, cell, that is the boiler thermal conductivity also given. Okay. The temperature of the outside surface and the fluid inside surfaces. So, outside surface temperature also given, inside fluid temperature also given. Okay. Then take the inner film resistance, inner film resistance means 1 by HA 4 pi 4 pi Ri square. So, this is the inner resistance, you know this one, that one also given. 
ಹೌದು ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಹೆಚ್ ಎ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎ ಎ ಆರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಎ ಎ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಾಟಾ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರಿಕಲ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೂ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಡಯಮೀಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಮೀಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇನ್ನರ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಮೀಟರ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಇಸ್ ಅಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಮೀಟರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಬಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ದ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಬಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ತಿಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಂ ತಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ then r3 is equal to the value of r3 is equal to 1.025 okay this is by one you can add this one so this one centimeter this one is the meter just correct this one so this is the then uh, inner thermal resistance 1 by 1 by ha is the value also given then uh, steel boiler thermal conductivity 58 watt per meter kelvin then as per step thermal conductivity k 0.116 okay so inner temperature ta given outer temperature t not also given okay so then you can solve the numerical by the formula you know that uh, formula because this is the composite sphere you know uh, the formula we already derived this one uh, that is the this is the formula just to hear uh considering inner convection process not outer convection because heat transfer uh, only we are considering up to uh, outer surface of the asbestos one okay so ta minus tb or t3 you can take like this one okay so this is the tb so the outer surface of the uh, sphere so that is the 50 degrees celsius inner surface or uh, inner fluid temperature is equal to 300 then the formula so this one already given that is 1 by h a you can write like this directly then uh, first layer thermal resistance second layer thermal resistance first layer thermal resistance is equal to r3 minus r1 by 4 pi r1 r2 into thermal conductivity second layer thermal resistance r3 minus r2 by 4 pi r2 r3 and k thermal conductivity so if you substitute the values here just like you, you know that to r2 value you know that to uh, r1 value and you know that to r3 values and thermal conductivity is also you know that uh, if you substitute all the values you will get to the the final answer 44.5 kilowatts you can solve the problem Okay. So, we will see one more numerical, like this one. A hollow sphere is made up of two materials. So, two materials, the hollow sphere made up of two materials. First one, first one, thermal conductivity, conductivity of the first material. So, here also two layers, two layers of this sphere. The first layer thickness, thermal conductivity K1 is equal to 70 watt per meter Kelvin. So, he is having inner diameter, inner diameter, then Ri is equal to, Ri is equal to, so, 10, 5 centimeters. Outer diameter, uh, you can take, this is uh, R1, this is R2, okay, then R2 is equal to 5 centim, uh, outer diameter, so, 30 centimeters means 15 centimeters. Okay. So, second layer, 
second layer dermal conductivity of the second layer kd is equal to 15 watt per meter kelvin outer layer uh, forms the outer layer with uh, od so this outer diameter uh, has directly given that is the uh, r3 so diameter given not thickness then you can take half of this one r3 is equal to 20 centimeter so convert into meters so 0 0.25 meters 0 0.15 meters 0 0.2 meters convert into meters so inside and outside temperatures also given that is the ti 300 degrees celsius t naught into 30 degrees celsius estimate the rate of heat conduction heat through this sphere assuming perfect contact between the two materials so here uh, heat transfer rates for the inner fluid or outer fluid are not given so then you have to consider here only conduction process only conduction through first layer and conduction through second layer no need to uh, consider in the convection processes then you know the formula q is equal to temperature differences t a minus t naught by uh, thermal resistance of the first layer and thermal resistance of the uh, second layer so thermal resistance of the first layer 4 pi into r1 r2 by r2 minus r1 so this is the uh, thermal resistance of the first layer next to 4 pi k1 also next 4 pi k2 r3 r2 by r3 minus r so you know the all the values so, r2 values you know r1 value you know r3 value also you know this one and the temperature t also given and t naught also given okay. then if you substitute these values here then we will get the uh, answer so 11.25 kilowatts here just already given in the ppt you can refer this one also just you can observe the given data so that is equal to so this is the formula you know this one okay thermal resistance one by something just a given run Mm -hmm. R2 minus R1 by 4 by R1 R2 into K1, R3 minus R2 by 4 by R2 R3 into K2. Right? Just otherwise 4 by Ti minus T naught by R2 minus R1 by 4 by R4 by R5 by R1 R2 K plus R3 minus R2 by R3 R2 K. K. Just if you substitute the values here, then you will get the answer like this one here. You can prefer this one. Okay. So, this is the one more numerical. Just to you can just I am giving leaving this one, you can uh, solve this one. Okay. These are the um, different uh, books. You can refer these test books, you can solve uh, many number of uh, numericals based upon the spheres. Thank you for watching this class. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.